Welcome back to Tarot by the Bay. I'm David. It's Star Wars Day 2023. May the fourth be with you. <laughs> he said in a lisp. <laughs> Guess what? E. Jean Carroll and Donald Trump's uh, court case that both sides have rested. Let's find out what Spirit wants to tell us with regards to this case. How are things looking with this case? And then we'll find out how uh, how uh, e. Jean Carroll and Donald Trump will react to the verdict when the verdict is given. Okay, so for entertainment purposes only, welcome back to the channel. Um, been plugging out, kind of cranking out a lot of videos. Thank you for watching them and throwing comments. I'm inching closer to my 700 subscriber mark, so just really excited. It motivates me to get more uh, more readings done. And uh, let's see what's going on with this one. I'm I'm very hopeful that. Uh, you know, in previous readings, E.G. and Carol has fared really well. Let's see if the energy has stayed the same. So, Spirit, what do you want to tell me about the current case? Okay, so there's um, probably backroom dealing going on right now. There's stuff going on behind the scenes, deals that are being made, things along those lines. Um, I can imagine that Trump and his team are trying... To, you know, it's too late to get her to settle. Or maybe they want her to settle before the jury uh, gets back. But I really what I think this is, is that, um, and, I, and I heard this speculation, I forget who had said it, that it could very well be that Trump and his folks want this case to go dark. You know, this is not playing well for him. Let's just, let's just get it over with, get it out of the news cycle so people don't remember it when it comes time for an election. I think that's what that's indicating <laughs> crossed with the knight of cups you know somebody going forward with a very emotional message see that makes that makes sense right so trump team trump wants this thing dark to go away and the other person is no people are going to hear my message so i th and i also think that's a settlement card so they tried to settle with her she wasn't going to settle they're now closing out the case because they don't want the press they want this thing to go away in the past, oh, there's your apprentice card, huh? In the past, you know, there's been a lot of work that's been going on, um, you know, um, probably on both sides. Trump with just denying everything, but I think this is more E. Jean Carroll, the work that she had to do to get this case to where it is now. And having to, you know, stand her ground and, you know, gather enough courage and enough, enough evidence that she could put forward a convincing case and get her story out. This was a long time in coming. Now, current situation is the Knight of Swords. Uh, the uh, the trial no, it lasted two weeks. It's um, it, it was done quickly, um, but I think it also there's two things going. It, it talks about the trial being done quickly, and you know I think uh, justice is going to go forward quickly. But I think it also kind of talks about Donald Trump's lack of impulse control he wants something he just goes out and gets it he doesn't think he doesn't you know it it doesn't occur to him that the answer no means no you know it doesn't to him no means uh you want you, you want to negotiate some more and if you won't negotiate well then i'll just take it because you're being unreasonable that's just that's just who he is <sighs> <laughs> overarching energy the sun okay basically over over this whole trial the truth is coming out the story's coming out and people are seeing Donald Trump for who he is and they're seeing E. Jean Carroll for who she is and if you don't want to believe her story then you are basically um, willingly and purposely burying your head in the sand Truth's out there. You want to see it? It's out there. And to, to, uh, the message to uh, what to take away from it is the Knight of Pentacles. Again, she went forward with a story. Um, and the story is about, you know, a wealthy person who thinks that they can have whatever they want whenever they want it. And, you know, the person with the emotional part of it just had to deal, but she wouldn't deal with it. She wouldn't just be quiet. She went forward with her message and she expressed her message going forward. 
Um, this could also very well be that somebody is going to be paying some money. And I think that's that's entirely possible as well. So the truth's out there and now comes the money part. And that's what the jury, you know, the jury can decide that the, the deliberation of the jury probably won't take too long to figure out um, if he's guilty or not. The, the deliberations will probably be what's the monetary compensation, punishment, whatever for his transgressions. Outcome, things are gonna calm down. People are going to go away. So, you know, I guess in some ways, Team Trump gets what they want. They want this. They want this story silenced. They want it to go away, and um, the turmoil is going to go down. I think her life is. It'll be tumultuous for a little bit post trial, but then things are going to calm down because she's went out there and said her truth. And the angry Trumpsters who probably have been threatening her on a hourly basis. Eventually, we'll get bored with it and they'll find somebody else to hear us. You know, the, the purple M&M lady with the go-go boots or something like that. You know, they'll find somebody else to hate on. Um, the, the new cycle is such that he's, he's committed so many crimes. There's always a new person to be upset with. Underneath it all is the burden. And this has been hard. This is, I think, this has been hard on her to have to basically relive this, communicate this truth, and live with this all of her days for all of these years and now she's getting that truth out there it's going to be hard on donald trump because well he doesn't really care on that he cares about his image he cares about how this is going to impact his ability to raise money he doesn't care about the person who was violated in this case he cares about himself and how how difficult this is going to be i'm a victim yeah whatever no you're not okay so um, and, you know, I think, again, underneath, uh, underneath all of that, this is just the first round, you know, I mean, you know, he's going to appeal, right? I mean, there's no doubt, whatever the decision is, they could award her, you know, a dollar sixty nine and a, a Popeye's chicken sandwich and he would, he would, uh, fight that. He would appeal. That too. So, no, it's the first of many battles in this one, but, uh, the ultimate thing that she wanted, she wanted her story out there to see the truth about this guy. Mission accomplished. Anything else is just gravy on that point. I'm sure she would like a monetary compensation, not that she needs the money, but it just validates that not only did the jury agree with her, but they agreed with how egregious the actions were. The more money, it sort of kind of equates to the more egregious the actions are. So, um, you know, if, if she wins and when she wins a penny, you know, some people say, oh, it must have been that bad. Yeah, she was technically right, but who cares? And, you know, if it's a million dollars or something like that, well, that's a lot of pocket change for a lot of people. Okay. How's E. Jean Carroll? E. Jean Carroll, how is she feeling about... Uh, this case or how is this case how is Eugene Carroll going to feel about um, the verdict in this case okay here we go this one wants to stay up juggling 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 um, I think she got a lot of what she wanted and maybe not as much as other things so I think um, I think she got a lot of truth out there uh, maybe and maybe she would have liked uh, Trump to have testified because it just would have been that much more um, uh, convincing of what happened, or you know, people could really see him for who he was. And it, might, and it might be that the monetary settlement isn't as big as she would hope. Not that she's looking for the money, but again, as I was explaining, the monetary settlement um, um, kind of indicates the, the gravity of the situation. But long and short of it, she's been juggling a lot, and I think it's going to, again, if the outcome was things calming down, she's been juggling a lot and her life is going to calm down now that this, that this case is done. And there she, there, there we go again. She went forward with her message. Somebody's going to be paying this woman. Good Lord. I did put these cards. I put these cards in different parts of the deck. <laughs> At least I tried to. Backroom dealing in the chariot. Okay. So what do we got? And, and underneath, there we go. You're paying buddy. He's paying. He's paying. 
Maybe this isn't so much. Is there a second trial? Or does she have two things going out on Trump? Uh, certainly she got her story out and she's getting paid. We'll see how much that is. Um, again, there was that backroom dealing that's going on. Uh, maybe trying to limit how much they pay or limit what she says. Because it might be one of those things where the jury awards her the money. Kind of like with Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. And then there's negotiations afterwards. Um, there could be after um, after the trial, there could be negotiations that Trump's team is trying to do with her to um, to mitigate the money that's going on. Some type of agreement, uh, you know, going forward with that proposal and the chariot. So <sighs> underneath it, he's paying. He's paying. This man is paying this woman. Um, I think, he, again, I think there's some negotiation as to what the payment might be, how much they're going to fight her. You know, we'll just, you know, agree to a lesser amount. We won't we won't challenge you in court continually. Um, so that's their message coming forward. Like, you know, I could do this and I get paid and I can go on my way or I can keep going and grind this thing and fight this thing in court. Um, I don't know if that decides what... The, Let's see, what did she decide to do with that? Uh, King of Swords. Um, it's a harsh, harsh decision. Uh, I don't know if that's the judge coming in saying you can't do that. Another one. There's that going away. She might take a settlement. If uh, and, and I'm not sure how the, how the law works in the civil case. Maybe if... Uh, um, Maybe if they offer her a certain amount, he has to pay it. Maybe they can negotiate it down. I'm not sure. It's Maybe that's different than the Johnny Depp defamation case. But uh, yeah, there's there's going to be some shenanigans. There's, again, there's somebody's trying to get her to settle, settle for less. And, uh, and I, don't, I don't know if she'll take it. Maybe she'll take it if she wants to be her mind. Because again, the, the whole idea was to get the story out there. Okay, how's how's Donald Trump gonna feel after this verdict? How is Donald going to feel after this verdict, Spirit? Oh, he's gonna be angry, right? Victimized. Expect the eight of okay. We all know the eight of swords is coming up, right? It's just oh, I'm a victim here. She did this to me. She's a liar. For entertainment purposes only. Ah, there he is, King of Pentacles. So Donald's here. How's he feeling after this? Oh, he's been betrayed. The agreements and the fool. And then underneath it is the emperor. Okay, so here's Donald right there. Donald's going to have to pay. And underneath it is the judge that's going to force him. The law, you know, it's the law, the judge. It's the judge saying, yep, dude, you got to pay. And... Here's that, uh, you know, that agreement, the relationships. Um, I don't know if this is with Takapeno or uh, trying to, again, trying to maybe cut a deal on this one, but he feels betrayed. So you know what that tells me? The answer is no. Pay. I'm not going to pay. Dude, you're going to pay. And not only are you going to pay, you're going to pay your lawyer fees. And if you don't pay, then you'll be held in contempt of court and you'll pay more fees and if you don't pay those fees then you're going to jail take a walk so he's going to act immature he's going to be a spoiled little baby because he clearly was robbed and he was betrayed by stuff and you know he had an agreement now he, he's going to fight it he's you know i guess you don't even know throw cards on that one right trump's going to be trump Basically, he's not going to win, and he's going to be upset about that. Okay. Now I'm just going to throw a last little four-carter. What's the message that we should take away from this? From this Donald Trump, Eugene Carroll trial, what's the message that we as a society, we as a collective, should be taking away from this? Okay, we've got, again, so we got the payment card here. Um, 
it's you know it's a, it's a card of charity and generosity but i think this is a card of you know the wealthy person uh looking down on common folk and i think what we're taking away taking away here is that you know wealthy people view non-wealthy people in a certain light or elite people view non-elites or peasants poorly and again this whole trial is about a wealthy white man taking something that he wanted when he wanted it and didn't ask for permission or anything like that did not treat her as an equal under the eyes of god he treated her as a lesser than temperance five of coins and the world card okay what was and here's the leaving card okay so again i think this is the lack of the lack of equality between uh elites and non-elites lack of equality between men and women lack of equality between wealthy people and working people and it's time to leave that mindset behind it doesn't work why doesn't it work because it's tr it's throw it's treating people like trash it's throwing them out like they're lesser thans you know you got the the people in this house that are you know they're wealthy and they've got all the privileges and then you got these people outside that have nothing now the so the same two people you treat them you're treat they're treating people like garbage and that's not okay so we've got to purify this we've got to correct this on a new day it'll take time it's not going to be overnight but we need to move in that direction and not just here but everywhere around the world, we face this problem, two major arcana on either side. It's a worldwide problem and it's going to take time to fix, but it's fixable and it needs to be fixed. Okay, so that's my reading on the E. Jean Carroll uh, rape trial against Donald Trump. I expect that she will win. I expect that she will get paid. I expect that he will fight those payments and try and negotiate them down and um whether she takes it or not that's her free will and that spirit wants us to look at people who treat other people poorly when they shouldn't there's <laughs> just because you're wealthy and powerful actually means you have more responsibility for those who aren't wealthy and who aren't powerful you now with great power comes great responsibility and i believe that's from spider-man <laughs> but there's a lot of wisdom in it Okay, folks, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video. Have a great night. Bye-bye.